Hello guys, this is Dedolf and today we are going to play Icarus. Icarus is an open world survival game where weather and environment system plays very important role. This game has lot of survival elements, hunger, thirst and base building, crafting, resource gathering and most importantly missions are the main focus of the game. So today we are going to create a new character and play from the beginning. So let's get started. As you see, I have two characters here. I have already created the level 0 character and we are going to play with it. So before going to start, I would recommend to take some workshop item with you. If this is not your first playthrough, then you can take some item and it will be very convenient in the early game. So before starting, I would like to take some workshop item with me. So as you see, I already have researched and crafted some items. The X5X and Mario suit is very helpful with the water slot. It is very convenient and you should take it. The backpack, you can take survival backpack and it has some movement speed buff. In module you need to have this mass damper module which is having 10% movement speed buff. In gadget I would recommend the holo canteen and the O2 tank because it is going to last forever in your early game and you don't really need to worry about any other canteen or oxygen tank. Axe, pickaxe, knife, spears are optional whether you can take it or not to take it it's your call. So let's start. So I'll be going in open world and Olympus. I'm going to create a new world. I'll rename it. And we are going to play in normal mode. So let's pick our items. We'll drag this S5 to here and backpack, temple model, full painting and go to tank. So here there are a lot of places you can drop but if you are new to this game you can pick the lower uh, forest area which will be very easy, um, very easy and it has a uh, medium oxygen and high food. I would not suggest to go with the desert or arctic area because those are hard areas and for a new player it will be very very dangerous and not that great to start with. My favorite area is the riverland. I am going to land here. complete missions for the UDA, you'll need to craft a short-range radio. Plenty of folks so need help, and factions pay well concept. for prospectors that offer their time. Up to you. Stay so safe. So we have learned only pickaxe and X. so we need to make those tools as soon as possible. We need wood, stones, sticks and fiber to make the early game tools and weapons. So I'm going to pick up some stones, branches and bushes. To craft our pickaxe and eggs, we need fiber, stick and stones. 
So let's get at those things. You just need to look at that into those four items or anything you want to pick and you need to press the interact button that is E in my case you can have F you can pick berries those are uh, food items and they have reduced water bar so let's craft uh, X and pick X here I got already so I already got my tools so let's chop these trees so the wood I need to break those things and pick up one Of items, I picked it. You need to drag those uh, canteen and oxygen tank to the respective slots in your suit, and it will consume whenever it is required. And you can you can do it in parts. For leveling, you just need to craft or uh, bend this or chop trees or pick some stones anything you will do in this game will get some xp and those xp will help you in the level up process when you get level up you will unlock some blueprints and talent points talent points give you skills and blueprints give you crafting blueprints which you can use to craft different items Survival items, or weapons, armors, or tools. This game has lot of tools like different types of tools stone, iron, steel, platinum, and titanium. And you can you can get some composite or different kind of hybrid tools. Those are the looking and we don't need to worry about it. So let's chop all these trees and I'll see you in a bit. So I have enough woods right now. I got a tainted water debuff, so forget it, I'll explain later. So let's get some oxygen ores. I got my first level here and along with that I got one killing point and four blueprint points. This upside door. Okay, let's see. So in tech tree, um, we can get the campfire and stone knife also good. And we need petrol for our spawn point. It will update our spawn point, and we don't need to worry about spawning a random location. I'll take wood bow and stone arrows first, and stone knife to butchering uh, the enemies, whatever I kill. Later, we'll get bedroll and we'll use that as spawn point. To have a bedroll, we need to first. Uh, construct a base and then we can use it there um, you can use it in the ground as well so no problem there so get some ores uh, and stones now this sulfur ores are uh, very helpful in the beginning which will give you some xp 
or you can't use it until you are level 5 or something. You need to unload the construction belts. You need to be very careful in this area because pool or any aggressive character can damage you and you can die. This place looks very safe now, but I'll choose a different place to construct my first base. Okay, I forgot about the talent point which I got when I leveled up. So let's use it. Movement speed and stamina are very important early game because you have less stamina and slow movement speed, so which will be very dangerous against any predator. With enough stamina and stamina reason, you can outrun any predator in this game. So I will take movement speed then stamina or stamina reason afterwards. So now let's finish these stones and we'll craft some stone levels and then we'll see. So let's store some items here. Uh, you can use your dropship as some early gear container. solo point here and three blueprint points and two talent points let's check what we can take so we can take Pedro this time and we can take a building base set for our construction so let's see uh, where we can build our fast base so I will search a location and let you guys know so I think I uh, will build my base here uh, we have water here we are in the cliff side location so one side is about to this door and the other side is from water so and the view is also good from here. So let's put our base here. So I'm going to make a very small hut. And uh, for this I need some pillars. And two floors. And six walls. So let's gather some materials. So I have almost completed my base. Uh, it was small but it will give me some shelter in the storm. I was struggling with the pillar placement but uh, in the end I put it down and uh, the element is not good but will improve the, in the future. Here I will use some toilet points. Uh, I can get the storage because I need storage um, now because I'm going to farm those ores to level up and uh, put on my base expansion so storage is very important. I used other uh, other teleports in the moment speed will be helpful while running away from any predator. Now my base is completed and I need to fill some animals to get some fall from it and I can construct a bedroll before that uh, let's uh, create a campfire so that i can uh, i can cook after the hunt so 
so let's go hunting. Uh, pumpkins are very helpful because these uh, pumpkins can give a uh, food book uh, where it will give some registers in the storm or any uh, weather event. So I am looking for a small animal uh, which I can shoot and kill in one shot, uh, probably a headshot. So let's try to kill this guy. Uh, so I'll try to hit a headshot. Let's skin it. So I'll got a bone, leather, and some meat. Wolf are very easy to kill and uh, you will be targeting uh, wolf first so that you will get more XP from them because a predator gives more XP when you will hunt them. I see some birds here. Uh, let's try to kill those things. Moas can be very uh, aggressive uh, sometimes, uh, but you can if you can hit a headshot. Like I'm missing a lot of arrows here, but if you get a headshot, you can kill it with a one shot. The item uh, is a uh, okay. I got a sword. Yeah, uh, as you see, uh, it died pretty quickly. So this small one, uh, those are the uh, juvenile uh, um, birds. You can tame those and you can use them as a mount. When we will reach level 10 or 12, uh, something higher, uh, we will uh, try to uh, try to make a ranching a ranching station as soon as possible. Then we will tame one. So I'm looking pretty much anything to hunt. Uh, I'm looking for opportunities to kill. So here I'm targeting this uh, uh, horse. So I'm using uh, X to to get some uh, bones from the uh, dead body. Uh, you can use your knife as well, but it will degrade very quickly. So let's try to kill this bull. Uh, when uh, these bulls are very close, you can use your knife and uh, they will very quickly. So my food is very low, uh, probably I can cook some meat and I can get some food here. Ok, I see one uh, more. I'll try to kill this. Yeah, it was 
very close uh, I almost died here so let's uh, skip this and go to the base Yeah, I should not uh, take this risk because if you die, if we don't have any bedroll yet, we will randomly spawn somewhere and it will be uh, sometimes difficult. So let's craft this bedroll, then uh, we will set this spawn point here. Bedroll and bed uh, are very uh, useful things so it, it will be uh, the primary thing is like it will give you a spawn point uh, apart from that you can uh, skip night uh, by sleeping in it I got a wound here uh, for which I need a bandage uh, to cure it. There is an exploit you can do using bandages. Uh, you can craft a lot of bandages and de deconstruct those and again craft those so that you get uh, some bunch of uh, experience point and so that you can level up early game quickly. So let's see uh, some of the talents like what we can up now so i have three tech points uh, available and one talent point so i'm going to probably take uh, the weight one um, the maximum stamina is also good so let's take it so you can uh, the maximum stamina is pretty uh, good uh, otherwise you can take dense packing as well it will uh, increase your weight capacity um, the rockstar will give you some uh, extra yield uh, but let's take this stamina first then we we'll go for the dense packing uh, we can take this uh, cloth armor uh, because we have some points and we can use it but or else we can hold the points uh, until we reach uh, level 10 So it's almost night and uh, let's sleep and skip this day. <laughs> 